What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games, and today we're gonna go over five Pokemon that objectively got worse when they evolved. And honestly, I don't know if they should have ever evolved, or maybe their evolution should have been something else completely. And of course, guys, if you like my type of content and enjoy these videos, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Consider supporting the channel, join the Pan Fam, and join the channel member button below. And of course, I want to hear your thoughts on this list in the comment section below as well. So diving in, number one is Rhyperior, and I'm coming in with my guns blazing, because I will say this, I do like Rhyperior as a concept, as Rhydon's evolution. However, this Pokemon be fugly. It, there is no doubt that Rhyperior is so ugly. I don't like how they're like, let's make it into a brick house and literally put bricks on the Rhyperior. I don't like it. I don't like how it's little holes on its hands. Like it just looks like a really stupid construction worker. And I gotta say this, Rhydon is a perfect Pokemon design. Literally, Rhydon is actually the first ever created Pokemon. And I think it nails the whole aspect of what a Pokemon is. It's cool, it's a Kaiju. And I just do not get that same feeling from Rhyperior. Now looking at all the sprites of Rhyperior, I'm not really seeing anything that's great. And the other thing about Rhyperior that sucks is holy crap at this shiny, piss yellow, dude. They're gonna put piss yellow and caca brown yellow on its body, dude. What is happening? Why would they do this to my boy? Like, why does he have to be so ugly? Like, yes, he's a good Pokemon stat-wise, good in Trick Room teams, but why is it this shade on his shiny? It's like, I would never flex this shiny in the VGC or anything like that. It's truly, truly horrendous. Now, our next Pokemon I think is totally awful. That is gonna be Masquerade. Now Masquerade Gen 3 Pokemon, and I, I'll say this, I don't think this Pokemon is egregiously bad looking, but it's really not special. It doesn't separate itself from any of the bug flying type Pokemon. But the real reason why I hate this Pokemon is because we lost our very first bug water Pokemon. We had to wait until generation seven for some bug water Pokemon to exist. Surskit was already here. Bug water is such a unique typing, especially back then I was the only one to do it. And then we evolved into a flying bug with some terrible stats. And flying bug is really bad. You are four times weak to rock, dude. Why are we going to be four? Like, look at all these weaknesses. We have five weaknesses here, and one of them is a four times. This is just so bad. Like, it is just, like, Surskit should have been into Araquanid at the end of the day. Like, we should have had Araquanid in Gen 3, but instead, we're getting this Masquerade. I also got to say this. I really don't like Masquerade Shiny. I don't think it's a good Shiny at all. I, what is this little pink, little red nose thing that doesn't look good with the green whatsoever? It's just not a good looking Pokemon. I think it's sort of like a bad-ish looking bug, especially when you compare it to other bug flying, like like Butterfree or even like a Vavillion and things like that. Like, why do we need another bug flying that just was also just ugly? I, I don't understand it. This is a redundancy. We don't need it. And Surskit was raw, but at least we got a rack when it to fix that issue. Now, this next Pokemon, if you know the channel, is actually my least favorite Pokemon of all time. And that Pokemon is going to be Probopass. Now, Probopass is honestly one of the most hideous, ugliest things ever. It looks like a caricature. Like, it is just... Like, why does this Pokemon have to exist? I, I, can't any, I can't say anything nice about Probopass. There's really not one single thing I could say about this Pokemon. I mean, I'll say this. Nosepass wasn't, like, either my favorite Pokemon. But I do like Nosepass because it is, like an Eastern Island based Pokemon more than what we get with Probo Pass, who just like ill, like the magnets are just super ugly and gross. The shape of it's gross. I hate the little magnetic beard mustache thing it's got going on. Like, eh, I mean, let alone like it gains the steel typing, which means it's now four times weak to fighting and ground. So objectively, defensively, it is worse. Yeah, it has more stats. Yeah, steel typing is a good typing. But now you have two four-time weaknesses, which is absolutely abysmal. And I got to say, looking through the sprites of this Pokemon, this is just hideous. I don't know anyone who likes Probopass. 
I don't think anyone even puts Pro Pass in their top five, top 10 Pokemon. This has to be one of the least liked Pokemon in all time. I think this Pokemon is a crime. I think we could maybe like, you know, serve like a warrant to Game Freak or something. I don't know. This thing is just hideous. I hate it. I despise it. It should exist. Now, talking about crimes, this next Pokemon is another massive crime to me in the same sort of capacity of Probopass, but it's not that ugly, but it is a sin compared to its evolution or pre-evolution. That's going to be Magnezone. Magnezone didn't need to become this weird UFO. He did not need to become this SUV of a UFO. And when you look at Magneton, Magneton is iconic. It is a perfect Pokemon design, iconic. Magamite also iconic, very cool ideas. I love it, but we lose the coolness factor when we look at Magnezum. It is just not that cool whatsoever. And the back sprites of this Pokemon were so bad in Gen 4. Like literally, what am I looking at right here? This is just, <laughs> it's, it's honestly hilarious. They're just like, okay, we're gonna make this like a little rock thing and just put a little pull on the top and that's the Pokemon here. Like, okay, like great. And honestly, it just never looked really great to me. Like it, this is a Gen 4 evolution problem that happens for all the other Pokemon evolving in Gen 4 from not previously in Gen 4, so. Like the Gen 1 Pokemon as an example. Yeah, it just really looks really hideous, hideous. But the main crime, besides looking sort of ugly, it is still a good Pokemon, is the Shiny. Magnemite, Magneton Shiny. I would give these Shinies a 10 out of 10. The black and gold is hot as hell. We love black and gold. Black and gold, hot as hell. And then what happened here? They were just like, hey, uh, we're just making our own little antenna gold. And it's still gold. It was a it's it's like a lighter shade of yellow from the non-shiny version. And then this blue comes out of nowhere. And there's just no gold anywhere. They don't even have a full black color. No black tips on the magnets at all. It loses the magneticness of it to me completely. I think if this Pokemon was the same shade of gold, had the black tips on the black magnets. We would be somewhere, but unfortunately, we have strayed too far from Arceus and Magnezone, I consider, and Pokemon Sin. Now for our last one, this is going to be very controversial, but hear me out. Samurott should not exist. Samurott should not exist. How I'll say it, Hisuian does look cool, but Samurott as a Pokemon should not exist. And hear me out. Why did we get a sea otter named Duwat, who is one of my favorite Pokemon, who I think personally is the best second evolution of a starter Pokemon, period. Who is like a ninja, dual wielding ninja otter, this badass. Why is this otter evolving into a leopard seal? Why? Why do we have two otters? Oshawott, Duwat, Samurott, two otters, and then we get a leopard seal. Now leopard seals are, can be cool by themselves, but it makes no sense why this is happening. All right, I just don't get it. We could have had a better otter warrior, an otter samurai. And yeah, Duwat sort of has that vibe to it, but we could have seen an evolution on top of that. And then out of nowhere, it just comes, it, it's just not great. And I got to say this, we got to respect how cool Duwat looks in black and white 2 animation. This thing is badass. It also has a great shiny color too. It, it's just a phenomenal and great Pokemon. Duwat's sick. I love the teal and purple. I mean, that's on Panfro colors right there. But then we look at Samurai, and its shiny is like this coral pink. Its body goes from like light blue to like a darker blue, and then it gets like the shell color from its head to its chest, which doesn't even match with the new coral color. What happened on this shiny? Why is it not even color coded correctly whatsoever? I think they just, they went so creative on the design versus Duat, but then the shiny takes a huge backstep on it and overall i think this thing's a monster it's sort of hideous at least you know hisuian arceus uh i mean Ar hisuian samurai arceus hisuian samurai looks pretty cool it looks cooler but at the same time this should have been an otter and that is my list of five pokemon that got worse when they evolved let me know in the comment section below if you agree or disagree with this list i want to hear it and let me know what other pokemon you think 
are worse when they evolve. I would love to hear that too. Anyways, guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a good one.